All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel and to this video. Today, I am showing you exactly how I fixed a what I think is a common problem underneath the kitchen sink with an outlet. I had one that was basically powering the garbage disposal when I flipped the wall switch, but the top one was dead and I wanted to get power to the top receptacle while keeping the garbage disposal receptacle powered by the light switch. Uh, behind the faucet. So whether you're installing a reverse osmosis system, that's what I was doing, or if you're just looking to do this for something else, uh, hopefully this video can help you out. So my original problem, I basically had a standard duplex outlet underneath the sink. And the top plug, like I mentioned, was for my, I, was, I wanted it to be for my reverse osmosis system, constantly providing power from that top receptacle. And it, like I said, always needed constant power. The bottom plug was for the garbage disposal and that one was supposed to be controlled by the wall switch behind the faucet. I did try replacing it with a GFCI, but I couldn't get that one to work because it was basically feeding power to both receptacles, the top and the bottom, and so I abandoned that. The switch did basically nothing at that point, which meant the garbage disposal ran non-stop. I uninstalled that and just decided to move forward with the original outlet. Now keep in mind, I am no electrician, so you'll wanna take everything you see in this video with a grain of salt and hire a licensed professional if you're not comfortable because this does involve electricity and you'll wanna use your due diligence like you do with any YouTube video to make sure you're making good decisions and safe decisions. So it turns out the fix was relatively simple once I understood the wiring. And so here is how I did it. I turned off the power at the breaker, of course. You'll always wanna start by doing that. And I used a multimeter to check the outlet and an outlet tester itself to make sure that there's basically no voltage at the outlet. And I did this throughout various steps uh, initially to make sure, again, that there was no out or no power coming to uh, any parts of the outlet itself. Next, I pulled the outlet out and examined the wires. Uh, basically, when I opened up the box, I found three different bundles of wires coming in and all of them were twist tied together for the most part. And one of them, of course, was connected to the outlet. So uh, let me explain the bundles real quick. One of the bundles that was all the way to the right of the outlet coming into the box had a single black, white, and ground wire. And that was originally going to the outlet. And the other two bundles basically had twisted, uh, blacks twisted together and whites twisted to together and the grounds twisted together. And those were carrying power in and out to the rest of the circuit, wherever that may have been going, likely the dishwasher in my case, but I'm not exactly sure of that or can't confirm that for sure. So from that point, I basically cut off the ends of those, took the 12 gauge wire that was already in there. Now as to whether or not you should use 14 or 12 gauge uh, wire, you should check your breaker box. And my understanding is that 20 amp breakers, uh, this case I had a 20 amp, and so that requires 12 gauge and uh, again, you'll wanna research that to make sure you're using the proper gauge that is rated for your situation. So I went, moved forward with 12 gauge wire. In fact, I just snipped off about six to eight inches from the existing wire because there was a lot of it bundled up inside the electric box itself. So I basically just used those. And I pinched those off or clipped those off because I needed to create new pigtails. So I joined the two black hot wires from the bundles and I added a third black pigtail. I tried the twist connectors, but there basically wasn't enough room underneath. So I ended up buying these push-in wire connectors, highly recommended. And we're gonna have the black first. I'm gonna be putting my pigtail in and connecting the two existing twisted wires. I'm connecting only three hot wires total, not the existing light switch hot wire. The white connectors, however, I'm gonna do all four white going into the same connector and all four grounds going into the same connector. In other words, my three existing wires already in the box plus my pigtails. My black hot connectors had three wires going in, my ground had four, and my white neutrals had four. I'm gonna pop the power back on just for a minute and test out to make sure we're getting live voltage. And yes, we are. And I turned the power back off before proceeding. So I used my standard outlet and I broke the brass tab on it. That part was important. I reinstalled this standard 20 amp outlet, not a GFCI. I broke the brass tab uh, on the hot, the black screw side that is. Uh, and this basically 
from what I gather, separates the two plugs so that they can each behave differently. I did not break the tab on the silver side. That was a big no-no. I wanted both plugs to share the same neutral. And so from that point, I connected the wires properly. I connected the black pigtail with the constant power, or with constant power, of course, uh, to the top brass screw. And this basically powers my reverse osmosis system. And then the switched black wire, the one that I found separately and had to cut out of the push-in connector, I connected that to the bottom brass screw. This controls the garbage disposal via the wall switch. And the white pigtail, I connected to one of the silver screws. Either one was fine since the brass tab is uh, intact. And the ground pigtail, I connected to the ground screw. And then I powered it on and tested it out. I turned the breaker back on, tested everything out, making sure it was good to go, that the reverse osmosis system plugged into the top plug. And that works perfectly with constant power and the garbage disposal worked perfectly with the bottom receptacle, but only when the light switch on the wall was turned on. So this is how I did it. The fix is simply using a standard duplex outlet, breaking the hot tab and wiring it correctly. And to recap real quick, turn the breaker off, use the pigtails for black, white, and ground, break the hot side of the brass tab. The top plug gets constant hot and the bottom plug gets switched hot and the neutral and ground are shared. Hopefully this helps you avoid some headache that I went through anyway. And if you want some more practical fixes and homeowner tips, of course, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks so much and I'll see you on my next project.